Hi everyone. Today's video is going to be about this Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. It's a little bit how I organize it, but mostly what I use this particular agenda for. I have the following people to thank for requesting this video. L. Witt, It's Only War Paint, Christina Author Davis, Stella Nature Ray, and Jennifer P. And I will also say most of my organization goes into my phone. So <laughs> here we go on explaining. I've had the PM, which is the smallest size. I've had the MM and I've had the GM and I've loved all of them. And there had been other requests like um, compare the MM to the GM or which one works the best for you. And those were legit questions and I actually wanted to know those answers as well. So uh, having all three, I experimented on organization, the layouts, uh, different types of, of paper that would go in, the refills, uh, and to decide what actually worked and what didn't work. And I've settled on the PM, and it's all going to depend on you and what you need. If you need an, an organizer or an agenda that's in one location, I like the GM. It lays out really well, and you can keep up with all your appointments there. So if you have, let's say, an eight to five type of job and you can have your agenda there, I liked that one the best. But it didn't work for me because I do not have an eight to five job and I have, I'm at different places all the time. So I needed an agenda that was with me at all times. And then I needed, um, when I had my MM, I, try to have all the little dividers and I would go back and forth looking for different areas and sections and it just spent so much time looking for those areas that I didn't I wasn't successful with it so I had to decide what is it that I really need when I organize for my day and there were two things I wanted an easy access and I wanted it to have things with me at all times okay so the because you have requested about the uh, PM. I will go ahead and share why I chose this PM. I want to have with me something to ride on and with at all times, and this will provide that. I have a, a divider, and in this divider, I have this loose paper, and so I, I have the little pin here. I know this pin is not going to get loose in my bag. The lid's not going to pop off. It's not going to spill into my bag, and that was important to me. I will say it's difficult to get out. It's actually difficult to find a pen that's going to fit in this little loophole, which is also a disadvantage, but I've got this pre-loved. It's a Louis Vuitton one, and it comes out easily enough, and it just twists up, and it's small, but it is a pen, and it works, and it will be with me, and that's what the purpose of this is. So... I needed something to write on, which I now have in this. So the back of my agenda is just filled with blank paper. And I like that because it's I can take it for notes if I need to share ideas, if I have, oh, I need to, I'm having some people over, I need to get some extra groceries, what are they gonna be, company over, whatever. And so I, I just have this for all kinds of lists and ideas or note taking. And then what I also need in my agenda is a layout of my whole year. This is something that my phone does not provide. Now my phone provides, if I have a 10 o'clock appointment, I can set an alert with that. And so I use a lot of organization in my phone, just not all of it. Because I can say in the month of July, like where one kid's going to be, where another kid's going to be, and it happens to be where the summer is quite different for all my, my kids. So basically it's it's the whole, I, I like the vertical, not the horizontal. The vertical, you know, of course goes up and down. Well, you can lay all this out and then you just write down in the month. So if I'm making an appointment or if I'm going to do a workshop, I can quickly go over and say, okay, I have this Saturday available. I don't have this Saturday available. So I love the layout of this. This is from File of Facts and it's just their vertical year planner. And one of the things I like about file effects is that once you find the right size for your agenda, it'll remind you, and I'm so sorry if you can't see that, but the word pocket is there. So it's the pocket filler or refills that you're gonna want for the PM. And that you always have that reminder, which I love. Then the um, there's two more reasons why my PM is working for me. One of them is <laughs> I just started today. Hey, happy April Fool's to everyone. But I, have 
started diets and stopped diets, started diets and stopped diets. I can be really, really successful at them and then I'm really, really not successful at them. So I've decided I'm gonna go back to the old hardened rule of just simply writing down everything I eat. Well, that needs to be a simple layout. So when I, I have this little tab, it was from another refill. It happens to be from like Hello Kitty. I don't know if it'll stay this, but I just needed a divider that was quick to find and this is the one it is. It's just this little Hello Kitty. It was from eBay a few years back. And anyway, I just use it in there. And then I'm just gonna date it and then write down everything I eat. And that's what I'm gonna do this agenda for. So I need it for note taking. I need it for my vertical calendar. I need it for now writing down everything I eat. Let's hope it works this time, people. And then over here, I have another tab, which happens to be uh, from a Louis Vuitton, because when I originally got an agenda, I went ahead and got the Louis Vuitton uh, refills, and you get a little ruler, and again, it pops out, so when you change the day. And this is just kind of a hot mess, but it actually works well for me. As I mentioned, most of my scheduling goes into my phone, but when I'm in my office, and I don't know about you, but when I when I first go in, I, I go in, I'll check my email, and then I'm like, what do I what is it I need to be doing? The day before, what I do is I write down everything I need to, to basically whenever something pops in my head concerning work at my office, I will uh, write down. Like um, maybe I'll have a text from my supervisor and she'll say, I want you to start working with some stuff with Pearson. So I'm just gonna find the day that I know I have available or I think I'm gonna have time for it and just write in Pearson. And it just jogs my memory. And so I can go in and look at it and say, okay, right when I go to work, I'm gonna start with this. So I'm gonna make sure these things get done. And it really just helps me to stay organized. It's a really simple process. I've tried using different colored pens for different events, but it just doesn't work for me. Whatever's handy to write with, I'll just jot down the things I need to do for work. And what I like is the whole week on a two-day sheet. This is just a hot mess. So let me just go to next week when I don't have anything written yet. And so um, the, the other disadvantage, by the way, to a PM are the little tiny rings. They are super small. Uh, I could take some paper out though to make it, these pages easier to turn. It's, it's manageable, but your, your MM and your GM sizes are definitely bigger. You can fit a lot more in, which is also part of the problem for me because I would put so much in, it would be those hard to turn. Um, I'm a work in progress for sure. Um, so I like to see the two weeks on a page. So I, I have a, the week layout there. That seems to work really well for me. Again, I got these from Follow Facts. I've um, ordered from, is it called Dodo Company, D-O-D-O? -D -O? It's from England and they just have a bunch of little squares. I only like that one, by the way, for the GM because the squares get really small when you get to the MM and the PM. It's almost impossible to write in as far as I'm concerned. You, there's a lot of good reviews on the this um, PM, which is not what the purpose of this video is. It's just what I personally use my PM for, but I will show you uh, that it does have three uh, things here. I have business cards in here right now. Um, sometimes I'll keep a bank card or if I'm getting my car worked on and I'm going to have to call him regularly, I might keep a business card in with me there. I have a picture of my kids, more business cards because it has this really generous little slit here. This I got from Follow Facts and it really doesn't serve a purpose for me. It Ideally, you could hold change, you could hold stamps, you could do things, but I just have little memorabilia um, from loved ones, and then these are my babies when they were little bitty, and it just puts a smile on my face. And then I do like to see the year calendar if I need to look at something really quickly there. But otherwise, I'm going to go in to write down for that day things I want to remember to do, things like that. So it's kind of a loosely organized type method, if you will. And then I want to come back here for what I eat, let's hope that works, and then regular note taking. Then at the very back, behind my little vertical calendar, I have another slip pocket, and I just keep a little extra cash in there. So this baby is working really well. Super happy that it's with me. Uh, the other thing that I was cluttering up my agendas with before is I have student information, and I was trying to keep all of that with me, and I decided I do need it with me, but maybe not in my agenda. So this is gonna look really 
I don't know, like a third grader would, would want, but don't knock a third grader. I work with young kids all the time and uh, they're pretty smart, so whatever. <laughs> I found this at Barnes & Noble. I looked at little coach bags, uh, little handbags. I wanted something like 10 by seven, where basically you could take an, an eight and a half or just a regular sheet of paper and you could fold it and it could stick in because there are some things in here that I do want to have with me and I need it when I'm at work and I need it when I'm at home because basically, I, I'm on demand. I'm well. Whenever a student needs me, if they're taking an online class, I want them to be able to, to reach me if they want to know what their grade is, if they want to know what's their next assignment due, something like that. I need a quick reference, so I'm going to have that here. When I had the GM, I had bought a uh, plastic sleeve, and I'm still using that to hold miscellaneous things. So in here, I'm going to keep. Uh, things I'm supposed to keep up with for work to make sure that we're in enough events and doing a, enough community service, that kind of thing. So I have all that here. If I need a sticky note, I have those in this little plastic pouch and file effects also. And for the GM, I probably could read it if I took some time. But anyway, I, I can't read it quite so clearly and so quickly. But this is from file effects. And just general information that I might have. And since in my other planner, I had, you know, student information, I still have that to fold anyway. And then um, you could keep a little calendar. You could just do whatever. It's just for miscellaneous paper that I need access to. So if I go to a special event that is gonna help for my community service points award, or whatever, for my work, I can write that on here. So that's kind of what this little pouch is devoted to and just to have access to sticky notes if I want them. And then, you might think this is strange, but this is actually working for me. Um, I have, just on a piece of paper, it's really simple. My schedule and for classes that I teach, and then I have it my son who's away at college and my oldest daughter who's away at college. And so if I want to call them, I'm going to look at their schedule and I can say, okay, gosh, she's still in class. I better wait. Uh, and then it just gives me a quick access to them. Or if I'm thinking about them or really missing them, I can be sending positive thoughts their way and just, I wonder what they're doing now. Oh, he's in his ecometrics class or whatever. So I can think about him. So the schedule kind of helps for that too. And then I have, I'm going to actually, I rarely do travel for work as I mentioned, but I actually am going to go up someplace in April. So this is the flight information on that. And then my fiance's schedule, he, he keeps his little thing just in a, he's just so, I don't know, organized. It can keep things so straight in his brain. It's just amazing. Um, but I have his schedule so I could refer to that. And then I can have like um, my work calendar with me and um, my my daughter's like school calendar. And so if we're looking, um, I don't know, we're going to go out of town. Do you have school that day? Do you have a big test coming on that day, whatever. So I have a little section, they're just folded over and it seems so simple, but that works. It works for me to have this separately in this pouch than trying to keep it in an organizer. I don't know, it's so silly, but it, but it works. Sometimes if I need a, a bigger space to write on, I have just one of those moleskins, which I'm addicted to these, I love them. I, I love the way they lay flat. And can I say, that was another thing too. I was just gonna get an organize, I was just gonna give it all the Louis Vuitton organizer uh, agendas and just buy the ones you can get at Target. But I don't like them when, they're, when you can't open it all the way. And one of the things that you can do is you can lay this flat. And that's what I, I wanted the rings. So I like that. Okay, so I have a little mo pad in there and I have some little business cards just thrown in there about a, maybe a potential guest speaker, um, someplace where my students could go volunteer at or whatever. I'm really onto these uh, poppin' pens and that's what this is here. And this is one of my favorite colors. I just always wanna have another little extra pen in there. And then these papers, I know it's a little bit cumbersome to get in and out, but it still works really well. For me, they're just folded sheets and one is like, grades I'm keeping up with. So like if I'm grading in the evening, I can go jot those down and I have it with me. Or again, if a, a student calls me or emails me and wants to know something, I can go and look at that, look at what they've done to say, yeah, you're doing it on the right track or let's get going or whatever. And then this paper, I'm not going to, it's just a lot of it's information. It's like all my students printed up and it's like, um, when I met with them, uh, their phone numbers, things like that. So this is information I like to have with me. I don't need it. 
I, I need to have quick access in my organizer to write down ideas right then. And I had it for my brain, it was, I was trying to get it too organized, if you will, too many dividers, too many ways to, to that you have to go back and forth. And I could never get it to work for me. And <laughs> it is so strange, but this little simple pouch, and probably this is, this is from Barnes and Noble, as I mentioned, but I'm sure just a regular zippy, although I tried some of those and it, it didn't, it didn't work. And I tried more expensive little pouches, like a little coach pouch or something like, and then I could use it as a crossbody if I wanted to, but that wasn't working for me. So anyway, and then my kid's schedule, I like to have that sticking out on one side and then you're going to think this is silly, but I think that's kind of cute and you can't really see it until I put the blow, blue moleskin. I usually have it where that's sticking out. To me, that just looks cuter. And then I am zipping up my pouch. And this takes little room. It, it's a, a little bit difficult to fit this in a 25, but honestly, for work, if I'm taking my little 25, my speedy 25, I have another bag with me and it'll fit in that. But if it's if you have a speedy 25 even that is made of the leather, the empreinte, and it has the zippers that go down further, it'll fit in that just fine. So basically any bag this fits into and it works just wonders. And then I'll just stick my pen on top. So this isn't like, okay, I am a professional and this is how you need to organize. This is somebody who has really taken to heart like what works and I have watched videos on YouTube and I have gained something from every video and I would find this is a good idea. I'm going to try that. I'm going to I'm going to adopt that concept or I'm, I'm going to really embrace having it all in one location and just didn't work. Most of the things again are my phone. These are for those three things that I mentioned. Having the vertical calendar to see the whole year layout that is very helpful to me. Plain paper and pen and then just having access to every day just to kind of jot some things down so that when I go to work, bam, I can get going and get, and, and get it done. And um, so there you have it. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is helpful or not. It's just so simple that it's comical, but it's actually almost been a genius thing for me because it absolutely works for me. So there you go. And if I needed more paper, this is a different size moleskin. So if I know I'm going to have a meeting and usually I'm the note taker, so I'll kind of want it on a bigger sheet, then I can just have it like that. It, it just works. I mean, I can put this in any of my handbags and, and I just have it with me. So I hope this is helpful and I hope you're all having a great day. Mwah. Bye.